Hi viewers, I hope everything is okay. Today I will be flying uh, a Rotate ILS approach and also some solar recoveries in the end. Uh, today I will be also a single pilot, that means that the workload will be higher, so I need to do things earlier. So what is a Rotate uh, ILS approach? It is when you fly manual on the ILS without the flight director. It will be easier to fly if um, you are in landing configuration before the glide slope. And I will try to use the approach mode on the ND, on the navigation display, and uh, try to fly after the track line and make only small corrections uh, up to 5 or 10 degrees only. And uh, also I expect that maybe the wind will back a little bit as we get closer to the ground and also decrease. So let's see how it goes. So now we're getting into position to do the road 8 ILS approach. And I will do the landing checklist and configuration a little bit earlier because I'm single pilot and also it's easier to fly uh, on the raw data because then you don't have to make big corrections uh, to pitch and uh, thrust for example. So the descent and approach checklist is uh, completed. So now we should do uh, the landing checklist and uh, start to prepare. We just need to get a little bit closer first. But I want to be uh, configured in, in landing configuration before the glide slope, so I will uh, do it on the localizer uh, quite quickly and then read the checklist and then disconnect everything and uh, try to fly on raw data and also disconnect uh, flight directors, of course. So, flap one. Flaps five. So next step is to uh, select gear down, get some flaps out, 15, slow down a little bit more, get flaps 30, then we will read the landing checklist. When we're done, we will disconnect flight directors, autopilot, auto throttle, and then uh, try to fly. And we are at the Manchester Airport today. Okay, so gear down and flaps 15. Let's keep this speed for a little while until uh, we, get, we have the glide slope is active. So uh, flaps 30. And landing checklist. Lights on. Landing checklist, any start switch is continuous, recall, checked, speed brake, armed, landing gear, down free green, flaps, 30 green lights, and the cabin is uh, notified, and landing checklist completed. Okay, so disconnect the uh, flight directors, prepare, and uh, disconnect. Also set uh, approach speed. And switch to ILS. Reducing the thrust a little bit. So now the track line is to the left, the center line. So we should come back a little bit to the localizer and try to keep it trimmed because it will be much easier to, to fly. And then beware of the speed. So it's a lot of parameters to, to uh, keep in mind. So 
So the glide slope looks good for the moment and also the localizer. So we should correct a little bit to the right and fly on track. And the pitch is very sensitive, I can feel it. So if you make very small corrections, you will change the vertical speed quite a lot. The minimums will be 200 feet abound, about, above the ground level. And the closer we get to the runway, the more sensitive the needles will be. One thousand. One thousand checked. And I'm trying to keep the thrust at the same uh, percentage. Getting closer to the runway. Very sensitive now. Check, it's 500. Should have the runway in sight soon. 100 above, approaching minimums. I will try to keep this attitude, runway in sight. Minimums. Landing. Speed brakes up, reverse, okay. Sixty knots, manual braking. So it was not on the center line, but the uh, last part is uh, quite difficult. We had some bad visibility. So let's stop here. So that went quite okay. Uh, it's very different from flying a small Cessna, for example. It's fairly easy to fly an ILS approach. But when you fly a much faster yet, you will have to react a lot faster. So it was uh, quite a challenge. And now we can also do some, try some stall recoveries. And you can get a stall in many different situations. For example, uh, in a go around or after a takeoff on the approach or if you're turning. So the main idea is to decrease the angle of attack. So let's try and uh, see how it goes. So first out will be uh, the power on stall. And uh, also one thing to mention before we go is that uh, this summer we practiced a lot of stall recoveries in uh, straight wing airplanes and it's a little bit different. Uh, we used a rudder to keep uh, the wing from dropping and uh, to uh, avoid spins. But now I will use the ailerons instead. Okay, and your stable setting thrust. Thrust set, 80 knots, V1, rotate.
Cause they rip you up. And now let's try to increase so that we can get a stall. Maybe I will reduce the thrust a little bit. And wait for a uh, stick shaker. So I'm pitching down and applying some power. And now we are regaining speed again. So the, the first thing I did was lowering the nose and then uh, directly apply power and uh, it should be it should recover. So now we're increasing the pitch with some power and we will wait for the stick shaker and we will uh, try to recover. Push down, apply power. Six shaker is out. We are picking up speed. And we're of course losing some altitude here. And now we have a safe speed again. So what I did was push down, uh, lower the nose and apply power. So we managed to uh, recover from that stall. Now let's try uh, on the approach. Now we are on the approach and let's say that you're flying manually. Uh, there's uh, always a risk of a, of a stall and the problem is that we are very close to the ground. So here's where we have to act very fast. So let me disconnect. Now we are in landing configuration. So I will reduce the thrust and let's say that I forget about the speed for a while. Speed is dropping. I'm still following the flight director to keep the glide slope. The speed is dropping. I have to trim so I should notice that something is wrong. Still following the flight director. Okay, stick shaker, push forward, apply power. And then try to be easy when you uh, level off, because otherwise we can enter a, a stall again. So let's try another one and see how it goes. Now we are 2200 feet and I will tell you how much altitude we we will lose in the skull. So thrust to idle. Two thousand. Following the flight director, speed is dropping. One thousand nine hundred. One thousand nine hundred. 1,800 stall, push forward, by power, stall it again, speed is okay, so we dropped 300 feet there. Now for the stall in the turn, let's say that you are on the approach, you are, you want to turn to final, you are flying slow and you are turning with a high degree of bank and also your load factor will be higher and that means that your stall speed will be higher and the margin to stall will be smaller. So let's see, I will try to recover from uh, this one. Manual flight 
and now I'm starting the turn, reducing the thrust. And I will keep 30 degrees of bank. And I will try to keep the altitude as well. And the speed is dropping, so I need more pitch up. Even more. And there we have pitch down, fly power, and straighten out the wings. Power and then straighten out and slowly pull up. This was very nice to try and I can tell you it uh, was a handful. I hope you have uh, had as much fun as I've had in this video and uh, see you next time.